and education i think that's that's key to uh, to perception that's key to recognition that's key to attitude and that is where communication comes in because as long as we keep the communication on going people will remain informed people will remain educated and uh, thereby um, the the perceived social stigma will, will should definitely be pulled down and people should be i mean that will be the day when when the the issues are more practically discussed and uh, i think that's when it becomes more effective when you actually address it as something that needs attention and what's the action to follow that's what i mean by practicality that is when we can effectively do something about it the moment you have the concerns of of social stigma of of shame of of feeling um um basically feeling gagged that you cannot actually speak and communicate i think that that is what we all are constantly working towards just dropping those um um dare i say veneers you know once 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 those barriers uh, disappear uh, work becomes more effective have you seen a massive change or gradual change you speaking to people who be, who belong to a very very um, urban social culture so from our perception we believe that yes there has been a huge change but we do at the same time know it isn't it's never enough that's not enough there's never enough change because um like i said while the statistics uh, do seem large i always um, uh, look at statistics a bit skeptically because that never is actually inclusive of genuinely every individual who exists down out there on the turf so it's a broad perspective and statistics are good to encourage the work on the ground it's good to keep the momentum going but it's not necessarily reflective of the actuals and i think once you recognize the reality i would believe that knowledge also should be enough to further accelerate or propel the effort to um, you know aspire people to 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 get people as, uh, to aspire to be a lot more uh, out there and working even harder to try and reach niches that could not be reached before socially um, to anybody who like to answer this question there's uh, a long fact that you're um, you know you're physically of course uh, going through a lot the disease obviously everybody knows what happens but i think even mentally you kind of become in a space that you kind of lose hope you know you feel that the world uh, do you think that also plays a major factor because when you know some they feel that the world has ended for them and they, the the will to fight kind of goes away have you seen how to deal with it that is really important to spend your same like I think if I may say that uh, one of the things is to deal with the initial, which is self stigma. You know, I think you overcome that. And now, if you're asking about change, the more people are coming out and talking about their status and the support from their families and friends, I think has made a huge difference. We still have a long, long way to go because stigma is not something you know. When you talk about uh, stigma and discrimination, it it is a mindset which takes time to change. But I think as we are seeing more and more people coming out openly about their status, living with HIV, and are actually our champions. So we are only working with them, but they are really the champions. So they are the voice, and they are able to support people. So there are support groups. So we definitely see that change. I think it's wonderful that they that uh, that's why so much importance is laid on. the the workings of the counseling units and uh, that uh, they are key they are key to uh, a lot of um, the work that can be done 